The Red Sea development was probably one of the largest tourism projects in the world today. The unique challenge that we placed to the architects was reimagine what a tourism destination can be. But most importantly, reimagine something that is ultimately going to be truly sustainable for generations to come. The Red Sea is one of the greatest natural habitats that's still left on the planet. How do you develop an area, allow people into a new region, create something that's never been done before? And how do you do that in a way that's completely sustainable? It's a huge challenge. The construction of the project is massively advanced. If we can rethink making, it's got the ability to become a model for the rest of the world. The architectural vision about the project is about creating elements that are seamlessly embedded within the landscape. So the airport was a good starting point. The emphasis has to be on looking at every detail. If we can use local products, if we can assemble locally, if the material you choose is from the ground, then you would have been sustainable. The idea is that the airport becomes part of the environment. With the islands, we did something which was quite bold. The thinking was the development could almost be like shells that had been washed up onto the beach. We're always trying to design from an ecological point of view. I believe that we can use design to show people that tourism can be sustainable and responsible without having to sacrifice a unique and luxurious experience. It's going to be a game changer for the hospitality space. To be part of that is so unique. It's much bigger than just a project. It's about transforming a country. There's a hunger to produce something groundbreaking. Until you make a big difference, people will never change. This is an opportunity for Saudi Arabia to really show the world how to do it properly.